Hello, it is 5 a.m. in Washington. It's 1 p.m. in Manama in Bahrain. I'm Monita Rajpal. And I'm Zane Verdi. You're watching World One Live from London. Tower in the Middle East, where popular dissent is sweeping across the region. The island kingdom of Bahrain is the latest place caught up in it all. The thousands of activists are in the capital city, Manama, today, pitching tents in a public square and calling for reform. Protesters say they want jobs, they want housing, an elected cabinet, and for the long serving prime minister to be kicked the out. Situation, get more of the situation on the ground. Mansoor Al Jamri is editor of the Bahrainian newspaper Al Wasat. He has been watching all of this unfold and joins us now on the phone from Manama. Tell us a little bit about what the situation was like overnight in terms of safety, security, and whether or not these protests are really gaining momentum. Yes, during the night, the protesters were spent their night here in tents. The beginning in March. Let's add to the Pepsi Coke rivalry, shall we? It's one of the uh, things that we're talking about. Uh, it's one of the world's most closely guarded company secrets and has been kept for more than a century. But now, a radio show claims to have uncovered the original recipe for Coca Cola and says the list of ingredients was actually published without fanfare in an Atlanta newspaper back in 1979. There it is right there. If that recipe is authentic, the original soft drink contained alcohol orange oil, coriander, and nutmeg. Well, it was billed as the Valentine's Day rendezvous, an encounter between an unmanned spaceship called Stardust Next and a comet called Temple One. It's the second time a craft from Earth has visited the comet. This time, scientists wanted to check out the hole they left more than five years earlier when they crashed a probe into its surface. NASA says it's definitely found the crater, but you'd have to be an expert to see it. Now, and a familiar hero is getting ready to leap out of movie screens. Sony has announced the title of the next Spider-Man film, which will be the first in 3D. It's The Amazing Spider-Man, and it's slated to drop into theaters July 2012. And we want to know what's been getting you talking, which stories grabbed your attention today. Tell us all about it. Well, there are more reports coming out about violence against journalists covering the events in Egypt. A reporter for a major U.S. news network is with her family now, recovering from an attack in Tahrir Square Friday. A statement from CBS News says Laura Logan well, suffered in a Egypt. Brutal. Authorities are desperately trying to track down all the ancient artifacts that were lost or stolen during the recent protests. But they have had a, a few successes. Some of the museum's most prized King Tut possessions were untouched by looters, and some of the artifacts that were stolen have been recovered. The head of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities spoke with CNN's Jim Clancy about what was lost, what's been found, and how the museum will rebound. Football's top club competition, the Champions League, is back. The round of 16 matches kicked off on Tuesday night, and there was a stormy encounter in Milan. Alex Thomas is here to tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, while Schalke were playing out a reasonably un interesting one-all draw in Valencia. It's quite, it's like a dance, isn't it, basketball? Well, that was extraordinary from LeBron James. Poise. He's the only one that can pull off something like that. Yeah, it's quite, uh... Balletic. Yes, there you go. There, that's a good word for it. Well, adding on to that about poise and pedigree, but, uh, who took home this year's best in show? Watching World One, live from London, coming up. It's a bedtime ritual, you've heard it. To say, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs, bed bugs bite. <laughs> My parents say it to me all the time, yeah. even now. But you know, that expression... The era of computer bugs, and as we treat bugs like the common cold, what you might call a more old-fashioned sort of bug is making a comeback. <laughs> Bed bugs, those creepy, crawly things, have become a huge well, problem. Well, you know, the story gets worse, at least for us in London, because bed bugs uh, are now they're here as well. <laughs> yeah, the experts yeah. say chemicals are only one part of the solution. CNN's lucky, I should dirty <laughs> Heath, looks at uh, some unconventional ways to find them and get rid of them. To Dergahi, CNN, Essex. Ugh, sleep well, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. And if you're waking up, what a great way. <laughs> you're watching World One live from London. I'm Zane Virgin. And I'm Monita Rajpal. Thank you for joining us here on CNN.